Hello everybody, um, I'd like to start by saying I apologize for the fact there was no video this this uh, Monday and this is going to be the only video for the week. Um, I just got back from my trip to Montreal and I was exhausted so I just went, oh, you know what, I'll just do it later and then things tumbled along. I was hoping to have it on Tuesday, this one, but um, turns out it's going to be today. So what I am talking about today is getting your bass to cut through your your recording and the way that i do this or the way that i handle this is well first let's listen to the song so i'm going to first i gotta switch over to the thing i got black and fluffy loaded up here and so if we listen at the moment you'll hear the kick and the bass are not really that well heard so we'll start And, okay, so you can hear the, the, the bass is not really pronounced in this song at the moment. And there's a couple ways I do this. So this, I do this for the kick as well. So you can hear the kick. It's not as pronounced. As soon as the guitars come in, the, the bass. And you can hear that the, you can hear that the guitar or the, the bass, yeah, the guitars take out the bass and the kick. And it's because of their low end. So what I do now, I got I got two tracks of guitars on here, and I did a stereo mix on them. So I go to the mix. So I go to the mixer here, and we're on track nine, which is one of the guitars. I'm gonna solo just to show you here. So um, as you can see, I've already got it set up, but it's turned off at the moment. Now I'm gonna fit with preferences. Hang on, let me make this so you can see it easier. All right, let's go home. Let's go back to mixer. Okay, so you can see it better now. So you can see it's off. I have the EQ set. This is how I set the EQ um, when I want to use it, and I'm just leaving it there. So what I do to get the bass to get the guitar lower is I will, or to get to get it to cut through is. I will cut off the lows as you can see here. And the reason why the mids are up, it's just to bring the guitar out a bit more so it's got a brighter sound to it. It just helps. Now, I do this to when I can't, when the guitar sound is not the greatest, like it happens. I know I know a lot of guys will, will record a guitar and it'll be really deep and bassy. It's like, yeah, I like that. Well, it, then you, you, you take out a lot of other things. That's why in a lot of metal, they use the, the little, the special kick plates. So they, they flap inside. So they actually have a treble sound to them as well. And the other way to do this, put the microphone as close as you can to the, to the skin, the front skin of the kick drum. Uh, it's two ways of dealing with that problem. So now what I, I'll, I'll play it with just the guitar. Now we'll turn on the effect. Now, as you can see, it didn't do a lot to fix it, but if I include the bass now, you can hear that the bass is much more pronounced. And I'll add the other guitar in here as well, which has not been done yet. And you can hear there that once the guitar comes in, the bass suddenly disappears. So we will do the same thing. So on and let's play. And you can hear now that the bass is now coming through better. Um, let me see if I can remember which one's the, I think that's it. So you can hear the kick now as well. So now the other thing I do for my for my own personal thing is, so go over to the bass track, which I always have as track eight. Um, it's all that's what I've always done, track eight, bass. Um, now if I go to the mixer, 
Now in this case, I'm gonna turn on the effects. Now what I've done, let's go look at the effects for a second here. Go to the guitar effects, guitar. We'll just select through, whoops, it passed over, there it was. So as you can see, I have the amp on and I have, um, I have, I have it, I have it so the bass has some, is using the amp to just to bring up the, to brighten up the bass a bit. And the little distortion, it ha comes a long way. I think I also have, oops, not what I wanted. Let's see, I think I also have, so I have, I have the chorus on as well for the bass. This is just for myself. I did this, just add to it. So let's play it now. And as you can see, because I'm using the internal amp now, it has brightened up the bass sound a little bit and it, it helps cut, it helps it cut through the, the noise. And it just, it's, it's nice. It, it just adds to it. So yeah, this is, that is what I do. So I do it with the vocals too. So if I go to the vocal track, we'll go to track one here, track one mixer. So as you can see on here, I have, I cut, once again, cut the lows and I bring up the mids and it just makes it easier to hear and sounds better. And so, yeah, it's, it's a great way to do it. That's what I would suggest you do. Um, that's my video today. Talk to you later. Bye.